cable test app is the most popular app on the low voltage pro it comes with models one two and three so we're going to spend a little extra time in this video uh, exercising this app this video can be found at bytebrothers.com slash LV Pro. The uh, cable test app comes on models 1, 2, and 3. And the beauty of it is you can use it to test voice, video, speaker, and data cables, all cable types. And this app can be added to later if you wish. If you'd like to add the Length Plus RLQ app, you can. You do that by upgrading to a Model 2 or a Model 3. And then you'll be able to add the Length data right into your cable test data. So let's go ahead and uh, test some cables. Here we have ourselves a uh, RJ45 cable. We'll go ahead and plug that in into the RJ45 jack. We'll plug the other side into the four times remote. Use our cursors to go down to the cable test. Icon, say OK. The hammer starts working, meaning the tester is working. And it says it is 52 feet long and it passes, so there's no problems. Now, if the magnifying glass is lit, it means that there's more details. So let's take a look at those details. The first detail is we can save this data if we wish in the flash memory of the Low Voltage Pro. Now to see other things we use the down arrow. First we see that pairs 1, 2 uh, are 55 feet. Now let's go down to pairs 3, 6, 54 feet. Pairs 4, 5, 52. Pairs 7 and 8, 55 feet. Now, check this out. We can see the delay of each pair. Pair 1, 2, 80 nanoseconds, 3, 6, so on and so forth. We can see the skew. And by the way, these terms are defined in the manual. 3, 6, 4, 5. But here's the one I want to show you. You can see ohms. This cable is RJ45 cable, category cable, is typically known as a 100 ohm cable. This is saying that it sees the impedance of 91 ohms. Pretty close. We like it to be plus or minus 20%. Pairs 1, 2, 91 ohms, 3, 6, 91 ohms, 4, 5, 91 ohms, 7 and 8, 94 ohms. Now, how many cable testers do you know where we're actually giving you propagation delay, skew, and impedance? Isn't that tremendous? Now, to finish this test, like any other test, we just press exit. And we stop the test. Now, let's go ahead and let's um, test the coax cable. We'll disconnect our four times remote off of this. Bring our coax cable over. Put one side into what we call an F connector style. A coax connector. Hook up the other side. There we go. You always hope these things will cooperate when you're trying to screw them on. There we go. Let's use our cursor to go over to the uh, video column. Let's go down to the video cable test. Press OK. Of course, very simple. It says it uses one, which is the center, the copper center core, and it uses a shield, and it says it passed. So one to one, shield to shield. Says the test is running. There's details available for this also. Let's ask for the details. One is that we could save this. Again, this is a Model 3, so you can print reports. Then we can use the down arrow to look at the delay. And we can use the down arrow again to look at the impedance of the cable. 70 ohms. Now, typically, this kind of cable is 75 ohms. So, we like it to be plus or minus 20%, so that's perfectly acceptable. So, a good cable, both instances. 
exit to quit. This is an extremely powerful test. Where, when's the last cable tester you've seen that does propagation delay skew ohms? Um, and so at this point, what I would normally do is I would press the details button and I'd say save. And it tells you that it just saved the ninth test into the flash memory. Now printing is covered in a, another video, so we aren't going to worry about it at this time. Now let's take a look at a typical report. Let's say we wanted to uh, present this report with our bill. i got to get my cursor to cooperate here. There we go. The low voltage pro test prints out everything that we discussed on the screen by pair. You can see the length, propagation delay, skew, and the ohms. And it tells you uh, what pair goes to what pair. And it, it groups the test together nice and tight, so you aren't using up a lot of space. And you can label the name of your test if you wish. And of course, it has the all-important past on it. If you had failure, it would say failure, and it would say why. The cable test will tell you how many, uh, how many feet or meters uh, down the cable uh, there, there's a fault, if you have a fault. And it will do this again for coax cable, for voice cable, um, and for speaker cable. And all of those reports, likewise, can be printed out right along with your unshielded or shielded twisted pair reports. You can store up to 250 reports on the Low Voltage Pro, and we give you the cable and the software to transfer those reports over to your PC for processing, and that is covered in another video. Thank you.